let's look at this question <coughs> uh, what does it say you got a straight line uh, having the equation y is equal to 18 minus xx so 18 is your y-intercept which is very clear and it has a negative gradient of minus 6 so it's sloping down from left to right and this is a parabola y is equal to minus 2x squared plus 8x uh, so these two are intersecting at point a and point b okay point a and point b and you want to find the uh, coordinates of a and b so first i'll show you how to do it uh, on a calculator but the question is you have to show all the working okay to get the marks or the code in nca you get the code so this is a merit question in nca so it's a good question first let us do it uh, on a calculator so first go to graph so let me delete this so the first equation is y is 18 minus 6x so 18 minus 6x just like that and the second equation is minus 2x squared plus 8x now before drawing it's always good to look at the scale what's the scale we need on the x-axis we need a scale from 0 to 10 so exit oh, so you already drawn it so 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 a proper scale will be for on x axis x minimum is 0 to 10 uh, scale of uh, scale of 1 would do okay they had done a different scale okay and on y axis you don't change anything in dot on the y axis it's from minus 20 to plus 20 whatever the diagram is given we have using the same scale scale of two or one doesn't matter so this is your graph okay and to find the point of intersection you go g solve and f phi is intersection okay i s c t stands for intersection so if you press f phi this is 1.69 okay or 1.697 or 1.7 7.8 so let us write it 1.7 am i right 1.7 and 7.8 so one this is 1.7 it does make sense 1.7 7.8 okay okay and for b you press this key 5.3 13.8 5.3 13.8 13.8 so we have got the answer now you have to show the working okay that's a cheeky way of uh, working okay if you only do this you may get an achieved okay but I want you to get the maximum uh, marks or maximum code so use algebra it says here use algebra to find the coordinates of a and b so what are they saying so you've got two equation y is equal to 18 minus 6x and y is equal to minus 2x squared plus 8x so now at the point of intersection the y the the this these two at the point of intersection the y the equation satisfies each other or at this point this is a point which satisfies both the equation so i can say if y is equal to this or in a different way in a logical way if y is equal to something 18 minus xx and y is equal to this if both are y you can equate this is equal to this i'll give an example suppose this is a very simple argument suppose so 15 is say 10 plus or 15 minus 5 okay and i can say 15 is minus uh, what should I say minus 4 plus what minus 4 plus 19 is 15 therefore can I say 15 minus 5 is same as minus 4 plus 19 so that I'm, I'm using the same argument so if this if 15 is 15 minus 5 and 15 is minus 4 plus 9 then I can say 15 minus 5 is equal to minus 4 plus 19 the same way I can say this is equal to this so I'll write this first minus 2x squared plus 8x <coughs> is equal to 18 minus 6x just like that 
Okay, now I want to make this a quadratic equation. So I'm going to uh, say take away, okay, or bring both of them to the left hand side. Or in other words, you're taking away 18 and adding 6x to both sides. So you get minus 2x squared plus 8x. So if you add 6x to this side, you'd add 6x to this side. Uh, then you got minus 18. So what happened is, basically, let me explain that. Uh, let me use blue. So what I'm doing is I'm taking away 18 from this side and adding 6x to this side. So I have to do the same thing. I have to do minus 18 plus 6x to this side. And that's what happened. So this and this gets cancelled and this and this gets cancelled. So you've got 0 on the right hand side and you've got minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 6x minus 18. So this should not be difficult. So you've got minus 2x squared plus uh, 14x minus 18 is equal to 0. So I can divide all by minus 2. So if you divide this side by minus 2 or this term by minus 2, I don't like the minus before the x, so this will become x squared minus 7x plus 9 is equal to 0. Because minus, this you may not understand, so let me show you that. 14 divided by minus 2 is minus 7, and minus 18, minus 18 divided by minus 2 is plus 9. Okay. So now you have to find the two factors of, and you can use the quadratic formula, which is x is minus b plus or minus square root of. Without the calculator, you can do like this. So you cannot find two factors of 9, which gives you negative 7. You have to use the quadratic formula. Or you can use the calculator. Go to equation polynomial and second degree. So you type in 1, negative 7, and 9, just like that. And then you go to solve. Okay, so this is 1.6. So one value is 5 point. So one value is 5.3. 5, 5 and the second value is 1.7. 1.7 and 5.3. So the two values of x are, so x is, 1.7 or x is 5.3 in two decimal places in 2 dp. Okay, and now you have to find y. So your y, you can use this equation. y is 18 minus 6x. y is equal to 18 minus 6x. You can use either one of the equations. I'm using this. So your y is 18 minus 6 times 1.7 and y is equal to 18 minus so let me use a calculator so menu run 18 minus 6 times 1.7 which is 7.8 so y is 7.8 and 18 18 minus 6 times 5.3 would be a negative number, minus 13.8. Y is minus 13.8. So, the coordinates, okay, so that's what we got, 1.7 and 7.8. So, A has a coordinate of 1.7 comma 7.8 and B has a coordinate of 5.3 comma minus 13.8. Now this was minus, okay? So this is good to check. My, this doesn't doesn't make sense. Positive doesn't make sense. So it is minus 13.8. Okay, so these are the coordinates of A and B. Okay. I've got the next question. I wanted to read this question and I will do, this is in continuation with the last question. So let's read the question and I will would like you to do this yourself. So what we're saying is, the straight line in D, that's in this question, this is the D question, 
pivots out to cut the parabola, the same parabola y is equal to minus 2x at one point c. So what they are saying is, here this line has become a tangent now. There is only one point of intersection. So you want to find the equation of this line. Okay, I want you to do it yourself and I will come back and do this later. See you in the next